everyone. I'm Cindy Fway with Cindy Sacred Garden, and we're at Dr. John Wilson's Community Garden. Uh, tomorrow is summer solstice, and Diana and volunteers for the last three or four years have planted fresh milky oats, which become oat straw. And this is a really important plant. Uh, it serves two purposes. There's only one week of the year, basically, that you get to harvest the fresh milky oats. And then after that, you can uh, har the rest of the plant is harvested for oat straw. So fresh milky oats is an excellent medicine for your central nervous system. Uh, inside of here, and we'll quick show you, I've got my apprentice Katiana videoing me. There is, this is not almost ready. Let me find one that has uh, fresh cream is what it's called. The cream of the milky oats. And it gets this milky substance. And this milky substance, when used right away, you can't like dry it out because then the milk is gone. When used right away into a tea or into a tincture, helps get into your central nervous system and your adrenals. And basically we use this medicine for anyone who needs to restore and rejuvenate a burnt out body. It may have been from a trauma. Uh, it could have been from a surgery. It could have been through um, an accident. It could be just because your adrenals go f from fight to flight continuously. Or is it flight, fight to flight? Yeah, that sounds good to me. And so it burns out your adrenal system, creates fatigue, um, a sense of non-well-being. Uh, you can have even restless leg syndrome. I work exclusively with vets with post-traumatic stress disorder. Those uh, who are giving up addictions, it's so safe to take and it's really good medicine to restore your entire central nervous system. So yesterday, Diana and the volunteers harvested the tops of the fresh milky oats and uh, the entire oat straw. This is the oat straw part of it. And uh, we'll, it will be given today at 4 p.m. at Bounty and Soul in the market. And so I'm here to tell you what to do with it. So you'll get a small little bag of these. And these are the fresh milky oats. I want you to put these in the fridge to keep the milk intact, the sweet cream. It's not actual milk, guys. But if you are lactose intolerant or wheat intolerant, just do a small taste test because this is oat straw. I don't have a problem with it and I'm lactose intolerant. So don't be afraid just to taste one. You can easily chew on it to get the sweet cream out or you can make a tea with it. And there's also a tincturing process that I will explain later um, of how to tincture. I um, have a grandson in the hospital, so to go through that process, I need time to have that videoed, and um, I will take some time to do that, to show you how to tincture it. It's a real simple process, and then that way you can take it in tincture form. But just keep it in the fridge. You can eat a couple of these as often as you want, or brew up a small handful. I do believe that they have the fresh milky oats already off the stem. If they don't, don't throw that stem away. That becomes, you, when you dry it, oat straw. Um, once dried, oat straw, you can add into your daily nutrition of herbal teas. It makes a nice cold decoction. In other words, you would take some of the stems, put them into a pint jar, cover with either hot or cold water depending on you'll find out which flavor you like let it sit overnight and sip on it all day long it gives your body strength um, and it replenishes you a little different than this does I find people who are gonna have dental work to go on oat straw some nettles about a week before and they have a really good uh, 
rebound time after any type of dental surgery. So that kind of gives you an idea of oat straw. Again, you'll want to taste test because this is, um, could be a, a wheat sensitive um, for those uh, who have the sensitivities, but I find most people can tolerate it. So it's also great for children. So I've got a, a student here that just arrived to hear what I had to say. So your fresh milky oats, put them in the um, refrigerator. You can put it into tea. It tastes wonderful. Bite into it. It's a sweet cream. You'll notice a calming sensation 10, 15 minutes later. It's not going to put you to sleep. In fact, I'm feeling pretty calm right now because I've been trying a few of these before we do this video. And then you'll also get the stems of oat straw um, cut I don't know if they're cut or if they're just going to be in pieces like this. And you will want to cut them up into smaller pieces and let them dry. Probably about this size. Um, I had Katiana do it the other day. And the scissors works. Don't put a big handful of it uh, into... Um, let's see. Oh, gonna, I have my knife here. Kind of give you... How to do it. So here we have, you're going to save this for fresh milky oats and then you would take off the brass looking blade and just go ahead and make small cuts like this. Can you all see that? So small pieces, you see, it's hollow inside. You'll know if you have fresh milky oats growing on your property because it's the only ones that will have the cream come out like this from the hull. So that's the sweet, that's the oat straw hull. hull. And just cut it like this and then let it dry. You can do it fresh, but if you let it dry, it becomes a little more potent. You only need one tablespoon for about two cups of tea or a nice handful of the cut oat straw for a pint jar to drink um, per day. And if you're gonna do the tea in a pint jar, put it in the refrigerator and drink it within 24 to 48 hours. After that, if you forgot to, which happens, feed it to your plants. They will really enjoy the, the nutrition and of oat straw. So everyone, enjoy your package um, from Bounty and Soul. Last year you got them in little bundles because I had harvested them last year for you. But this year there's a great abundance of it. And Diana and the volunteers took them three hours to harvest. And we have a big bed here still left. So there you go, everyone. I hope everyone enjoys summer solstice, which is tomorrow, and celebrate the bright sun and find some cheer um, <laughs> so you can use that too <laughs> find some cheer in your life during these times